This presentation is counting multiple digit base. We are going to be working with base 5 for this example. And we are going to see how we record base 5 as we work with our number chart. So the first thing I am going to do with my strip of paper is to write base 5. Before we start the chart, I would have the students place a 5 on the chart to represent the base number. Then we can start with our units. I would like to record that on my paper, so I have 1. I would remind the students that in base 5, when we get to 5, we will be exchanging for the next highest value, 3, 4. Now we're at 5. I'm going to exchange my 5 unit beads and record my next highest value by placing the 5 bar in the next category. On my paper, I'm going to cross off the units. By moving to the next value, that is equal to base 5, 1, 0. I'm going to record that on my paper, and then I'll start again with the units. I have base 5, 1, 1. Base 5, 1, 2. Base 5, 1, 3. Base 5, 1, 4. And then I will exchange my 5 units for 2 5 bars. And that takes me to base 5, 2, 0. So again, I'll cross out the units and write base 5, 2, 0. We add 1 to base 5, 4, 4. At this point, the students might point out that we have 5 bars and we can exchange for base 5, 1, 0, 0, or a base 5 square. Then I would invite the students going back to the units to collect more bars and exchange them for squares. They can challenge another classmate to do this work in another base and see who can make it to the cube first. This example is a multiple digit base. For this example, we are going to use base 1-2 or base 12. I am going to put 12 here and also write on the paper strip. We're going to start with our unit beads. As we place a unit bead, again, we're going to write on the strip. So here I have one, two, three. We need to count to base 12, 10, but when we get to 10, we'll need to use a T for the base 12, 10 units. We'll also need to use an E for base 12, 11. We do this because we have nothing to represent the 10 or the 11. When I have 12 beads, I am going to exchange, but I will need another object that I can find from the environment to represent a 12 bar. For this example, I'm going to use a chess piece to represent one base 12 bar. The students can continue to do this, again counting to 11 with their unit beads using the symbols T and E for 10 and 11, and then exchanging for another chess piece to represent two 12 bars. They can do this all the way up to an object representing base 12 cube. The point of interest to alert for is that whatever the base, that amount cannot exist in any of the categories. As soon as that amount is reached, an exchange must be made. That's the case with the materials and on paper.